I've been having rough days a lot here lately. I know I am placed where I am for a reason. And I truly cannot see that reason right now. I don't want to get upset about it. I've truly gotten upset so many times over this job. I just wanted to come on here and kind of document how I'm feeling right now. My head is in so many places at one time. I've talked to my family. I've talked to my husband. And I think, I think the way to kind of get back to myself and get back to enjoying life every single day is to maybe take a different route career-wise. I have a really, really great support system in my life and I think now is the time to pivot. I'm just not happy. I dread waking up every morning that I have to go to work and I know there's good things in life. Like I really try to make the best out of everything and I always go to bed at night. I like say a little prayer and always look to God and I'm like, God, I know that it's good. Um, the day was good all together. But I just, when I'm at work and I just go in and I'm like, oh gosh, if I can just make it to Thanksgiving break, to fall break, to Christmas break, then I'll be good. Then I'll be good. That feeling of, I guess, joy or excitement never comes. I've always said that I don't want to retire as a teacher. I'm just trying to see the good in every day right now. And I do kind of feel like I'm stuck in my job. 98% confident that this is going to be my last year teaching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have felt like opening up to you guys about this for months and months and months and months. And I have sat down to film this before. And in those times, I've watched back everything that I filmed and something just didn't feel right about it. Even sitting here now, like it just makes me, I just kind of don't want to talk about it. So that's why this has been a long time coming, uh, just about this, this topic of um, my job, my teaching career. The things that I filmed just never, I, I always felt like I was ranting and my thoughts were very all over the place. There would have been times that I had a super, super, super rough week or day and I would come home and just feel like I needed to spill my guts. And I don't think I did that in, in a way where I couldn't make sense of what I was going through. I didn't want it to be like a huge rant session for you guys, especially those of you that aren't teachers and you don't know what a lot of the stuff that I was talking about. So I just kind of wanted to make a whole new video and really just dive into like the main topics and not dive too, too far deep into my emotions. It is still my job currently and I still experience a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about. But I do want to preface this and say I am in no way, shape, or form trying to discredit teaching. I'm not trying to talk bad about teachers. I just think public education has a long way to go. There's things in public education that need to change and they haven't. And I don't think that they're going to for a very long time. I love the teachers I work with. I love supporting teachers. I think very highly of teachers. If you're a teacher yourself and you're going through some of these things, just know that you're not alone. I just wanted to talk about some of these things. Just to open up about it, I feel like there's there's a lot on the internet about teaching and how kids are this way and that way. I just wanted to share my experience. I guess my way of thinking of teaching is kind of, it, it's like a toxic relationship in today's times. Yeah, I'm just not happy teaching. I'm not. One of my goals through this process is to leave teaching and I don't th I don't feel like if if I hadn't recorded some of the previous things that I have about my job 
trying to open up to you guys about it, I would still have the same mindset that, oh, I just had a bad week. Oh, I just had a bad day. Teaching's not that bad. I get my summers off. I get holidays off. I get a great schedule. I feel like I would make it look and sound good, even though how I'm feeling on the inside is much darker and a lot deeper than the perks of teaching. That is my goal is to leave teaching and to find a career, just find a job that I would be happy and I would wake up feeling fulfilled and excited for the day. I guess I can talk first about feeling burnt out. I teach special education mainly inclusion classes. I mainly deal with students who have learning disabilities, students who have ADHD, students who have um, maybe some emotional um, things going on and um, maybe some mood disorders. So those are the kinds of students that I work with um, primarily in the special education realm. I also work with um, I guess you could say your general education population where there's students who don't need extra support. So I work in the inclusion setting. It brings both of those crowds together and it mainstreams them. I thought going into this profession in college would really leave me fulfilled and make me feel like I was doing something for someone and helping somebody else because I really, that is something that I, in my heart of hearts, love to do. I love to help people. I would spend hours after school on my planning in the morning offering help to students who refused to do the work in the classroom, would sleep during class even if I tried to wake them up multiple times, and with students who just wouldn't put forth the effort. I received little support from parents and administration was told multiple times in the past four years that I've been teaching that I wasn't doing my job and that I didn't give my kids their accommodations, which just wasn't true. My administration never supported me once. Also administration, like if we were to have like a disruption problem, a behavioral issue within the classroom and we would write students up for it, Nothing seemed to ever happen. I have witnessed, and I still witness, students who have displayed, I hate to say just bad behavior because it's so much worse than that, behaviors that should be punished. I have been looked at and I have been told, can you just please try and understand what the student's life is like at home? And yes, I can, I have empathized but now it's to the point where these behaviors continually happen and we've pushed it so far under the rug that nothing, this student is not learning any discipline, any consequences for their actions. And I really just disagree with how administration holds students accountable. I also have been super tired and unmotivated, not just now because I'm pregnant, <laughs> but even in the past um, year, two years, three years, ever since I started teaching really, I have just struggled to rest, like truly, truly go to bed at night and shut my brain off and get the sleep that I need to go into the next day at work. I guess that stemmed into me being very irritable, especially with my husband, parents, I would even snap at my friends sometimes or I wouldn't even respond to my friends because it felt like such a task to socialize. Also, I felt very cynical and I guess I, it, the repetition of it all has just gotten me into feeling uh, like the things that I do don't matter and the things that I do aren't important. I've also experienced compassion fatigue. What I mean by that is like the inability to tap into the feelings of empathy and compassion when it comes to handling these um, rougher around the edges students. And not just students, teachers, parents, uh, 
my friends, <laughs> my family. I have, I have just felt this heaviness, this weight, this darkness that I don't like and I don't want to feel that way anymore. Have you ever been so like done with the day that you just scroll, you scroll, you sit on the couch, you scroll, you scroll, you scroll, and you're done scrolling, there's nothing left to see online, and you just go back to the top and you refresh, and you scroll, and you scroll. Again, even if it's not something that you want to do at that time, it's like freeze mode or something. <laughs> I guess what I'm just saying is that I have felt very overwhelmed and very, very stressed all together in my first four years as a teacher. Although I knew a lot of this was going on and I internalized it, I even tried different things, okay? I transferred schools and grade levels. So I was at a middle school and I transferred to a high school. I had different administrations. I worked with older teacher, veteran teachers, and now I work with younger, um, less experienced teachers, but also really, really intelligent people. At the beginning of every single year, I really remember going into the year with an eager heart and a fresh slate mindset, but still, I worried about how students' parents thought about me and thought I helped or did not help their students. That really kept me up at night. I had meetings during my planning periods because I didn't get free time. And if you did have free time, it just felt like you needed to be doing something. I also stayed after school to get work done. I have dealt with very disrespectful, flat out rude students. There was also a time that I didn't get paid and I'll, I'll say a time, really it was two times that this happened because of a, I'm just gonna say a hiccup at the central office level in my district. I don't know what happened yesterday, but my phone like stopped recording. So while I get ready for church this morning, I just decided that I would kind of finish my little spiel. Okay, so I think I left off um, talking about how I had not gotten paid for work that I had done and this was like extra work this wasn't like my salary so there are different rules or whatever um, I had been told by administration at my school that what I was doing was allowed when my timesheet came back to me with all of these notes written on it and uh, it wasn't approved. That's when I had started to question things. So anyways, I have gotten paid now, but back then while this was going on, me and Spencer struggled for two months, I wanna say, just trying to pay our bills and, and still eating good. <laughs> But I mean, that's nearly impossible. So we had to get like really cheap meals for the week. And that was not fun, but we just had to do it because that, that's all we had. Truly, I don't, I don't mind now because I know like what they did to me was dirty and it was wrong. They also, last year, I was doing the same thing. Um, and I didn't get paid because my administration gave me the wrong colored piece of paper to put my hours on. Uh, so I didn't get paid for a whole another month after that. Now in my district, we only get paid monthly. We don't get paid bi-weekly, which sucks. And it, um, already like you're having to budget <laughs> as soon as you get paid. There's really no flexibility in today's time with a good paying job, paying your bills, and getting to do fun things that you want to do. And so I think this year I just have finally hit my breaking point. I just kind of came to this realization that I was giving my career 
everything. But I was giving nothing to my husband, nothing to my family, and nothing to my friends. It's not worth me dreading every morning that I wake up that I have to go into this place. It's just not something that aligns with my values my goals in life and my dreams in life anymore. I really um, dream about another career that just offers me more time, less stress, and more energy. Like I come home and I don't wanna do anything. Um, and I only work from eight to three. Like you would think I would come home and be ready to, to do something else for the whole day. No, I lay on the couch and then I go to bed. <laughs> With all of that being said, I feel super guilty of saying that, like saying I want to leave teaching. And I shouldn't feel guilty about leaving a job that serves me no purpose and a job that I feel is toxic for me. But I just feel so scared to take that leap out of education. It's A, something that I worked four years on in college just to get to. And I feel like I wasted time, I wasted money on that diploma. But I know I am not somebody that can just do paperwork for the rest of their, their life. Am I good at it? Yes. But I, I am a creative hand and I don't think um, that would fulfill my heart at the end of the day, I mean, it, it hasn't thus far. It gets <laughs> my bills paid. I just wanna be so passionate about something and super excited about it when I wake up in the mornings and not dread and count down the days until this day that I get off or this break or summer. Like, I just want, I wanna be present in life and I want to enjoy every single day to the fullest because life is too short to have a job that you absolutely hate. I have some really amazing um, co-workers and I have some not so amazing co-workers, but I think that's like that anywhere, um, any job that you have. But my really close co-workers, obviously my sister being number one, but I have some other great ones that I've made really good friends with and they're super supportive. Um, and they also want to get out of education. Now, keep in mind, I've been having these feelings for about um, a year, almost two years now. And um, it's been months of me just going back and forth and being like, could I find another job? Like, could I do something else? And I think I spoke to you guys about this before when I was um, selling like um, products online. I did try it just it wasn't for me i don't really know what kind of career i would want to go into i looked into being a virtual assistant and i would really like to pursue that even more i definitely am gonna um, go back to teaching <laughs> next year and when i say next year i mean this upcoming august because our baby is due in september so I want to take my maternity leave. <laughs> like, if there's one thing I'm getting out of it, it's my maternity leave. I would go back, I believe in November, um, and then Christmas break would be in December, and then the goal would be to have a job already lined up for 2025. I don't wanna leave my teaching career on a bad note. That's not the person that I am. Also, that would mean breaking a contract and risking not having a job in the future if I needed to, if teaching was something that I absolutely had to fall back on just to make money. I just feel like I have done everything that I can to be a great teacher, but I'm just ready for a change right now. And that's that. Guys, my skin is so dry. So freaking dry. That is my story on teaching. <laughs> I just pray that I can find something and um, really enjoy it. Not have to stay somewhere that I don't feel that I am 
truly, truly wanted or that I'm respected. I'm gonna go ahead and get finished getting ready for church this morning and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's more cheerful and not as um, kind of heavy. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.